So now in recent videos, I've been using this trim pot. I turned it the opposite direction from what I normally do because it obviously wasn't connecting to the spots I plugged it into before uh, very well. And there's other issues with it that uh, we can take a look at using this oscilloscope. So this is the DSO shell and this is my newest one, my newest uh, oscilloscope. I just have a pocket oscilloscope, this one which is also a small oscilloscope, and one with a multimeter. So this one you got to power it, 9 volts works well. I bought it, the one that comes with the charger. And, and I also bought the one that's built and we just plug in the uh, cable there and we have two alligator clips that I just clipped to jumper wires plugged into the board where I want to take measurements. So in any case we're going to zoom in and you can see uh, this pretty well. So I have this set to 5 volts per division. So that's 5 volts for each square because we're dealing with uh, 18 volts right here. And actually let's uh, let's see if I can there we go. Lower this to a line right there. There we go. So that'll be zero volts. So that's uh that's how you select it. So you can see that's blue, that's blue, and then seconds per division. So one second per square, and then up there that sets that. And in fact, I'm going to press this button. You can see those arrows. That makes it so I can change this. Now it turns kind of the opposite way that you would think. But you can see how fast that's going. If I press it once and get rid of those arrows, I really have to turn it forever to get it to move very far. So, push in uh, this button speeds things up. So, that should be all the way. And that means right when I do something it will start there. If I put it back there, it would take a while from what I just did to finally show up on screen. And then, so it's going to show up now and then when it gets to here it's actually still recording it'll record all the way back there so probably like uh, four times three or four times what we actually see on the screen so in any case we're looking at the trim pot for this video that's our uh, settings and uh, make sure we set it to DC because we're dealing with DC so I have this set down to a uh, zero volts you can see we're down at the bottom where that arrow is the yellow and I'm going to turn this and you can see as I turn it towards the uh, positive rail the voltage is going up and this actually doesn't look too bad but there you can see some uh, kind of rapid uh, voltage change which is not desirable and there we go when we get to this point there seems to be a problem with the with the uh, trim pot right about there I've been having problems towards the uh, positive rail there. Now we're going down you can see a bunch of uh, spots where the voltage rapidly dips just for a brief moment and uh, goes to where it was. So if we just set this and leave it at a spot you know it may sputter from time to time but now it's at that full voltage about uh, 18 volts and so we can count them 5, 10, 15 and then about 3 more going up five volts per square. So now another thing I noticed I'm gonna put some pressure on it and hopefully it still stays true. You can see that uh, with the pressure on there we're getting less spikes. And So in recent videos those spikes were causing problems with the circuits I was making because the circuit was responding and I was using the op amp up here to respond to the voltages that we have there. So this helps make it really easy to see what I need to do to reduce unwanted uh, voltage spikes either up or down. And it looks like having it inserted in the direction that we have it right now and holding pressure on it seems to uh, do pretty good right now. And of course the board will wear out uh, later on and whatnot. But in any case that was uh, one thing I could uh, use this for, those spikes would be harder to detect without this oscilloscope because it's giving you real time information on the voltages. So as little glitches pop up, they really stand out on here, whereas they may happen too fast for you to really notice them in person. So 
Hopefully you found that video interesting. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.